If you have ever spent time in an ER or a hospital bed, there's a very good chance that a nurse took care of you. Nurses are the backbone and the heart of medicine. Yeah, no doubt. So one on Nurse Appreciation Week, we thought that we'd introduce you to a nurse who takes medical care on the road. She's helping patients inside their homes. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with her story. And Sinead and Tom, Sharon Roberts has become a total pro in Atlanta traffic because that's where she spends a lot of her time. But you're not going to hear her complain because after 30 years of nursing, Roberts thinks that she's finally found her niche, bringing care to patients who can't very easily get to a doctor. Sharon Roberts spends her days on the move, making house calls. Dr. Akuchu? It's Sharon. Good morning. Dropping in on patients like Dr. Jumu Akuchu. How was your weekend? Roberts is a registered nurse with Visiting Nurse Health System. Akuchu, her client, was paralyzed 12 years ago when he had a stroke during spinal surgery. And for the next hour, they catch up like old friends. He is the most positive, um, appreciative, has an amazing outlook on life. Any coughing or shortness of breath? Roberts visits Akuchu weekly, tending to his pressure wounds, checking his catheter. And you're on a new antibiotic, am I right? While getting a glimpse inside his world, like she does with each of her patients. It's not just about, you know, dressing a wound. It's, it's about how their nutrition is and what their support system is like, and maybe even how their faith plays into it. And as Roberts says, Goodbye. I'll see you next week. And heads to the next client. She says she feels like she's found her calling. I wanted to be a nurse from the time I was a little girl. Because her dad was a doctor, a medical missionary. And so I used to see him doing things for people, and I had a real love for that. Now it's her turn. On an average day, Roberts will drop in on a half dozen visiting nurse clients. It's a demanding job. Your home care is very much on the go. You know, you can see I go from house to house. You don't know what situation in home care, especially what you may walk into. At the home of 88-year-old Pura Novo, something unexpected. Good morning. Oh, dear. Novo has a black eye after a fall yesterday. So Roberts checks her out, talking with Novo's daughter and caregiver, Sabrina, who says she appreciates having this second set of eyes on her mom. Someone to take a look at it and say, yes, you need to go to the doctor, or no, you know what, we can let this ride. This is normal. At 88 and with the difficulties that she's having, it's a lot to get her out. You know, it's tiring for her. But Roberts can manage most of Novo's medical care right here at home, checking her vitals, and each week, cleaning and maintaining the central line in Novo's chest that delivers a heart drug she needs to stay alive. All right, it's working great. Tells you how much is left in there. Roberts also helps clients stay on top of their medication and transition back into their homes after a hospital stay. Sure, show me what you do. She likes the one-on-one -on -one connection. I am just so blessed because I get to serve people. I mean, yeah, I get paid for it, so it's a job, and that's great, too, but I get to do something for people and it's not about me it's about them and when it's time to go stay on your feet Sharon Roberts heads out to the next client and the next chance she hopes to make a difference I'm so grateful that this is my job I just love it and Robert says that home nursing care like she offers is typically covered by both private insurance companies and Medicare and Medicaid. But there are a couple of requirements. You have to be able to document that home care is necessary and that the patient is basically homebound and cannot easily get to a doctor. Chief Meteorologist.